You've been so patient, waiting for a video from deep within the rock pile. Nature o Blonde doesn't disappoint. So here goes. Rare, fossilized shirt varieties. The extra unique edition. There's so many varieties of church, flint, salacious quartzite, but you want radioactive rainbow flint. Run, come get some. Iridium shirt from the KT Extinction event from Colorado. Stay tuned for the exact location. This super churdy rainbow flint, which possesses enviable luster, silky smooth touch, vibrant fanning colors, and perfectly conchoidal fractures, with razor sharp edges every time, can be found amongst falciferous coal, shale, and marl of the Vermeja formation. Lenses form at the tip top of the Pierre Shale, interestingly placed very near the Poison Canyon formation in southern Colorado, with very little Trinidad sandstone interspersed. For Geostrata crossing long established natural stream runoff. It will be found blocked up squarely as layers of its shale stone with variable silica replacement percentage. We found this chunk of rainbow chart off the side of a mountain cut with natural valley emptying into Lake Trinidad at one of many clearly defined KT boundaries. Is it church? Is it flint? Technically both. It's city camo rainbow colored and ever so slightly radioactive. If you chip this flint, you give birth to fresh gamma rays. Best to clean your specimen to preserve it. See our hypnotic short cleaning this piece up by clicking the link in description. Safe summer hunting. Well, grandpa cat's out of the bag now and on to Oklahoma. Mossy mottled agate shirt from Amnonite. Center in on southern Oklahoma, south of the Wachita Mountains. Agate shirt is found here, and varies only slightly from light mocha to swirled cappuccino dappled with cinnamon sprinkles. It is found flanking the edges of Troy and Tishomingo pink granite areas of southern Oklahoma. Encompassed in a crusted red outer matrix, smaller lenses are from expanded large shells and solid round ones are from ammonite chambers. Look for tumbled red round rock, which weathers light, is about fist sized, often cemented with fossilized barnacles on one side. This is the internal pocket of an ammonite whose internal chambers were broken at the time of death, allowing debris to seep in and so begin the gradual hardening and subsequent replacement of minerals, in this case silica. This fossilized mossy chert fluoresces bright Albion yellow orange. We found our collection conveniently rolled out into a road ditch near a non supporting road cut for train tracks in Bryan County. They lie directly atop alluvial topsoil in abundance. See our short examining these specimens under UV light by clicking the link in the description. Happy winter hunting! Crystal Rainbow Chert. Chert doesn't exist as a crystal, says the person who hasn't found it. No need to sleuth, consider this a gift, a labor of love for you. Narrow in on the Texas Panhandle, Lake McClellan, McClellan Creek, Gray County, where the police cars roam, outside of National Grassland Barrier, along Tibbetts Draw to be most specific. The lake is dried up, the grass is tall, and the burrs stabbed to the bone. These specimens started as super crystal rounded river rocks, quartz and quartzite, were cemented into the Ogala Formation gravel bedrock while being shocked from extreme heat, likely KT event, after which total salacious remineralization occurred in the presence of water, resulting in cracked quartzite appearance with all the properties of chert. This transparent gemmy crystal chert comes with spectacular citrine blood red, deep blue, bright white, and vibrant black colors. Some are bicolor. Normally, I would not include this into the chart category, but ancient Americans used a nearby site for centuries to quarry this valued chart. Not all round rocks are of equal grade. 
bring a hammer. About 5% are chert gray. They do look like charred, burnt pebbles in ancient asphalt concrete. Seek pebbles predominantly hidden and cemented into dark bedrock and within an ancient stream path and knock them loose with a hammer. It is below the local white cloud-like Caletian marble layer. Beware national grassland and private property. These are off limits. That's right. Pocket the tire pressure gauge. Red River Jasper. Dusky red, bright red, or deep orange, mottled with pink and white patches. And it really smells bad. I'm going to level with you. I haven't had access or luck finding it in situ in Oklahoma, but it washes in from there and can be found gathered in patches with the heavies along the Red River on the Texas side. It is found near iron limestone load and surrounding decaying pyrite is the source to be the overwhelming stench. River rounded varieties cab out nicely and miraculously lose all of the sulfur and most of the iron stench with time. This chert was used in archaic times as early as the San Patrice through late prehistoric cattle. It became repopularized by settlers to North Texas. It can be found in the Comanche Formation as it crops out above the antler sand at the northeastmost bridge over Red River, Grayson County. Also as dispersed, hence well-smoothed and river-rounded material on the east sides of Sherwood Shores, Preston, and Rocky Point Peninsulas on Lake Texoma. Loose rounded pieces are easy to spot from luster and color. You are nearby if you find large concretions of fossilized creamy shell chert fragments in bright red fossilized tidal sand matrix. Pull over before you cross the border and check out our short examining these fossilized seashell dunes under magnification and UV. It would first appear a massacre occurred, however this is a natural and rare coquina formation. North Texas Chalcedony Chert. Oh, it did save the best for last. I dug so deep along the rock pile and came out with my hands full. The last is actually a twofer. Oh, stay tuned to the end for the ultimate surprise. Grayson County boasts two distinct varieties found very close together. Dappled light and solid dark are the colors. Formed from expanded shell layers replaced and compacted with moganite, the fibrous form of quartz. It is found as two layers, usually within 50 feet of a known slick and slide area and 100 meters of an old oil well, setting just below the Fort Worth Formation. Dark varieties are found in the Upper Duck Creek Formation, more specifically, Post Oak Creek running through Central Sherman. I have found many beige chert innards of oyster shells solidified with time and in 35 pound average septarian nodules. Park off the access road of 75 where there is always construction of some sort and lace your boots, there are snakes. Once I see the first snake in early spring, I call the year and I suggest you follow my lead. The oysters are packed by the millions into the creek bed in one five foot layer crumbling into the creek described and about one in 25 contain this oyster chert. Rumor has it, a half mile downstream, there are plans for a future fossil park. I do wonder where all the snakes will rehome themselves. The light gray mottled variety comes from expanded then worn graffia from Lake Texoma Dam south as the water dribbles. It contains calcite, yet still fractures from coily like chert. Bring a UV flashlight on your next trip to the lake. Texoma Light Chert from Bivalves is the new Yoper Light. This is due to late Albion adaptive radiation. See our short as we show this in action. Thank you for watching this video on rare, unique fossil chert. And if this video gets to 100 subs, I'll show you some chert smash therapy. As always, like, sub, and grab that tire gauge. I wish you luck, but you don't need that. With the directions I provided, you only need a GPS for your nearest turnoff. Maybe don't share. Let's keep this between us.